I suppose I'm kind of coming out of retirement for this because I saw something that I found quite disturbing and wanted to remind people in the more right-wing neck of the woods, the more conservative neck of the woods about why we ought to really be here and what we ought to be doing. So I was watching a stream from the distributors who I'm sure many of you have heard of and he was talking, I'll link this in the description, he was talking about the place of celibacy as taught by the church, the Roman Catholic Church for those who are unaware. So he was discussing this and he pointed out that St Paul and the Baltimore Catechism both say that celibacy is superior to marriage and he said that this was somehow theologically suspect. Now besides the fact that St Paul here is decreeing something that is eternally true and does not change, this isn't some matter of discipline that could be changed at different points, the fact remains that we as Catholics are bound to believe that the scriptures are fully inerrant and we aren't allowed to stray outside of that. There are other places in the scriptures that talk about this as well. The one that really springs to mind for me is Isaiah chapter 56 where God says that the eunuchs for him, that is monks as well as those who are actually castrated according to Cornelius of Lapidae, um, are those that will inherit names that are greater than the sons and daughters. So God himself, the, the very word of God, says it's not merely a divinely inspired author who's nonetheless speaking for the Spirit, but God's very own words through the prophet are saying this. And David's called this theologically a uh, suspect. Now, I'm, I'm hoping he's watching this. And I don't know whether this is because of some sort of um, unresolved theological issue, or whether or not this is, um, you know, like a shiri, just not being aware of the, the church teaching this. But I wanted to point to a larger problem that I think is emerging and has really been there a lot of the time, and that is everybody's reading the wrong things. Some people will will say, oh, well, the right wing is reading too much. No, 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 no. Because the, the, the people that will say, oh, we need to act. You're just sitting here on streams and blah, 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 like just sort of spieling about doing nothing, right? That's obviously not true, because in order to properly act, you need to know how reality is shaped. And you can't do that unless you try and reach out and grasp what reality is. Problem is, is the right wing isn't doing that. Even, even people who are very much within the church, right? There's a focus on people like uh, Robert Carlyle. There is a focus on people, you know, admittedly heretics, right? Like um, Joseph de Maistre, right? De Maistre was a Freemason, and like I like some of his works as well. But that doesn't make him any less of a heretic, not to mention on the um, on papacy. Um, there's an emphasis on these sorts of writers, and in other places in the right, it's kind of kind of a weird um, weird moniker because it really is just a conglomeration of very different subgroups. You know, there's there's emphasis on Yukio Mishima. There's em emphasis on many different groups that really aren't worth your time. Now, as far as I'm concerned, and if the the right wing doesn't agree with this, then I'm not right wing, right? I'm concerned principally with reorganizing society such that we can best perform virtue so that we can accrue merit and be the, in the best way possible um, predisposed towards salvation so that we can be with Jesus forever. That's as far as I'm concerned the reason why any kind of right wing movement exists. It's not merely because we're disgusted by these kinds of things, although they are disgusting, like these, these uh, issues going on in the wider culture. Although this is a strong part of what draw, draws people who aren't Catholics to this movement. But the ultimate reason why we are there doing politics is so that we can organise society in such a way that is the most conducive to human salvation and to human flourishing. Now, these other authors, like Schmidt or whatever, I know Schmidt is a Catholic, these authors aren't the best way of doing it. They, they simply aren't. And the, the interesting thing I find is that there's a very strong emphasis on people who are writing within the last two centuries and a startling lack of um, looking at those in the past. Now, sure, of course, some people will know Plato, some will know Aristotle, some will know Aquinas, but there's a much wider tradition around these sorts of things, particularly when it comes to the reason that I set up this channel in the first place. Now, the reason I set up this channel in the first place, it must be about, oh, four years ago, five years ago now? The reason was, um, alongside needing another stream of income, was because I recognised that there was a real virtue problem in 
right wing movements. And I figured that the only way that there's going to be any success in this sort of aim is to make people more virtuous, to make people better able to rule, and to make people better able to well, live life, basically. And this has kind of been achieved um, in a very, I mean, even then. You know, it's replacing certain vices with things that are slightly less bad it, within, within contemporary right-wing spaces. But I, I haven't seen this happen. And part of the reason for that is that there's an emphasis on the wrong things. You know, like, how many of you people, I mean, how many of you people even know who St. John of the Cross even is? How many of you people know who um, Father Reginald Garrett of the Grange is, right? Like, I spent time building this channel so that I could look into this tradition, and so I could present it to other people. I thought this was a selling point, and it obviously hasn't really worked, which is, which is silly, because this is the solution, right? And it's, it's, it's discussions like this that manifest precisely what I'm meaning, right? It's, it's situations like with Dave, um, you know, not reading enough on the tradition. And this, this emphasis on this, this, this is another thing as well, this emphasis on this weird kind of spirituality that is uh, oddly not specific except for positing the existence of God as if it's supposed to unite us or something, right? Like, um, we, we fought and died by the millions over, over discussions between the nature of God, over the nature of God, because this is the singularly most important part of our human, important thing about human existence. Now, that's not to say that we can't have our discussions with other groups, but there needs to be a really strong emphasis on that reason for our existing, which is to glorify God. And I don't see much of that happening. I see, I see people um, trying to point out certain truths about, um, you know, social realities, like, um, you know, for example, um, you know, don't, don't be stuck on the internet or online. It's good to physically exercise. You know, I mean, that's a fairly basic thing. And I'm increasingly, um, I'm increasingly thinking that the whole social is the sorry social the whole self improvement movement as a whole is um, is really not sufficient for really improving a person because it's much more about the social um, circumstances than I think people who push this are willing to admit there, there are some things being done but it's really not what ought to be done right and I think that there's also a forgetting of the fact that it is ultimately God who runs world history. We're in this situation because God has put us in it. And the only way we're going to get out is through God. Now, there's a lot of emphasis on examining certain natural truths about human behavior. Oh, um, you know, um, maybe not so much the race things. There's certain people who will talk about race. Some people will talk about, um, you, know, you know, different different groups and different symptoms of what's going on here. How we can solve them. Oh, go outside, go and basket weave. Now, I don't understand the point of basket weaving if you're not with people who are holding to the reality in uh, in the fullest sense possible. Um, and I don't think, given given the ecumenical nature of this movement, which is united basically only by being based, um, that I would ever accrue that kind of social group, which is what I want and why I won't be taking part in, um, in, the, um, in basket weaving. But we need to be aiming higher, guys. Like, we, we need to be asking God for help. Talking about um, friend-enemy distinction, talking about elite theory, blah, 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 as if that hasn't been killed already. You know, uh, why are we not talking about God? The whole reason why we should be socially organising anyway, and why aren't we focusing on the growth in the virtues and learning more about him? And then letting the social organisation flow from that. You know, as, as Jesus said, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all other things will be given unto you. Now, I don't see much seeking of the kingdom of God. I see a whole lot of seeking of social organisation in, in the potential case that we might, uh, I don't know, change the culture because we certainly aren't winning elections. But the whole, the whole framework is so weak that um, I don't see that happening. Right? We, we have like our, our social groups or whatever and they're like, oh, there's Orthodox and there are Protestants and there are Pagans or whatever. But we're, we're, so, we're so different and so many people are so poorly catechised that how, how do we expect to grow movements out of this? Like, people aren't that much different from the, uh, the background as far. I'm not actually sure about that. People, people aren't focusing on the ways of developing well. Like, like, like picture this, right? Um, imagine, imagine this situation, right? Can you imagine the academic agent or Dave the distributor doing a review of Humility of Heart or something? 
Now, like the, these books have like have like subtle. There's a subtle there's subtle issues in um, in humility of heart, but like or um you know, uh, rational garage of the grandeur's three ages of the interior life. You know these things that tell us how to seek first the kingdom of God, and then from there all else will be given to us. Like how how many people do we see actually talking about this? Like, and I mean this is why I, I'm making the video because it's very frustrating. Even people who are very very interested in the church, and there are some people who are like that. You know. We, we talk about, we, we don't talk about these things, and it's a, it's a real shame, and also I think it's kind of quite critical, because even if we're, even if you are, um, you know, you know, politically successful in the long run, because, I don't know, you outbreed progressives, what is going to replace it? Is replacing it going to be worshipping the friend enemy distinction, or, um, you know, worshipping Achilles, or, uh, you know, something like that? Well, I mean, these are idols. These are idols. There needs to be a focus on God. And the only way that we're going to save the civilization... Well, first of all, we're not going to save the civilization, right? God will do that. But the only way that we can be agents in saving the civilization is if we place a greater emphasis on what the church has taught and on what we're supposed to be doing and on God himself especially. We're not going to be able to do anything without God and... By consciously acknowledging him, we're just going to do superior. We're going to do much better than we would have done otherwise, and so that, that's that's my my real issue here. There's not enough emphasis on this, and you know these people, these naysayers who will, you know, like like you know you know the people that are even more annoying than um, the, the Matt Dillahunty types. And I see this a lot on the right. Are these people who view religion as if it's some sort of social technology in a video game? Like we're not playing Stellaris. And there's not going to be any success, uh, uh, particularly in attaining any kind of real good, until we start doing this, until we start pursuing God. And this has to be done not in these sorts of ways where we mention it and we place emphasis on it without actually articulating the details of such a belief. This is, this is like the atheism-theism debate, right? Like, the, the atheism-theism debate is one over the existence of God, not about the particulars of God. Now, I think that everybody, aside from, you know, teenagers, and maybe the people who are genuinely deceived, I think everyone believes that God exists on some level, right? The difference is what and who God is. And the fact that I don't see this being mentioned very much is a real problem. And so I'm hoping that my rant, coming out of exile for however many months, um, is actually going to have some sort of effect on writing discourse. Now, I spent a month reading through um, reading through Evola's Revolt Against the Modern World. And I made a very long presentation about why that's wrong, and it had no effect as far as I can tell. And so I don't expect anything to happen, but, you know, maybe it might change, like, a couple people. That would be nice, right? Seek ye first the kingdom of God in the scriptures, in the fathers, specifically, um, you know, letters to St. Olympia is nice, particularly if you're a woman. Um, you know, John of the Cross... A Dark Knight of the Soul, um, more especially Ascent of Mount Carmel, that's one I've, I've gone over a lot, a spiritual canticle. Um, you could go and read, um, this is probably the best one actually. If you've watched, if you watch Father Ripiger's uh, lectures on vices and virtues, go and read The Three Ages of the Interior Life, it's intended for lay people. Go read them. Go and read them and actually put into practice what they teach. Please. And go and watch, um, you know, Christian Wagner. Go and watch Hassan. And go and like figure out more of what's going on because I don't think we can afford to be ambivalent about such things.